Hi everyone, Alex with BIM it up here. Today I have a couple of great time saving tips for you. One of them is going to be how to change a P trap into an elbow, especially useful obviously if you design plumbing. The reason you want to do this is because if you have a bunch of elbows all over the place, you'll be able to easily swap all those elbows with sanitary P traps. In addition to that, we're going to dig in a little bit into sanitary T's and Y's and we're going to understand that angle at which we're coming out of the sanitary main so that you can come out of it either at 90 degrees or at 45 degrees without changing your pipe type. Very important because you want to save time on that. And later on, even if you want to change that uh, quasi Y, which is actually a sanitary T at a 45 degree angle. If you want to change it for a proper Y, we can also do that. See you in Revit. And before we even start, think about it. It makes sense. If you like this kind of content, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. You hit that bell so you get notifications. You don't miss any of our videos. So first I want to show you what the, the end game is. Okay, we want to be able to take any elbow and simply swap it for a P-trap, saving us a lot of time. Okay, so how do we do that? Let me delete this and let's go back to our project, right? If you don't know how to create a project, you can learn how to do so in another of our videos. The link's in the description and it's called How to Create a Plumbing Project. Uh, but if you know how to do so, then we can get started. So let's do a pipe. I'm hitting PI for pipe. And if you don't know how to create a, a, a waste PVC pipe type, you can also learn that in another video, okay? But I'm assuming that you already watched that one. So let's go ahead and draw a little pipe here. And let's change it from eight feet to 10 feet. And the key thing to understand here is that you can only swap a fitting with a similar fitting. So if this is an elbow, you should be able to swap it only with an elbow. So you can swap this one, for example, which is a short uh, eight band with a long sweep, right? Which, by the way, I'm going to start talking a little bit more about code in this video. So, I mean, what's the point of having a professional engineer, you know, creating videos if we're not talking about code, right? Anyway, so that's the reason you can change an elbow with another elbow. So the reason I'm able to switch to a P-trap is because this P-trap, I already defined it. If you go right click and edit family, you can see that this is already uh, classified here as an elbow because I changed it. So the original one is coming out of the box as a multi-port fitting. So I changed it to an elbow and that's why we're able to do that. So I'm going to head and recreate that for you, like if you didn't have that P-trap. Let's come here and let's remove that from our routing preferences. So let's go to our Autodesk library here and let's go under US Imperial in my case. Let's go under pipe, fittings, let's go under PVC, schedule 40, socket type, drain waste and vent. And here's our trap, trap P PVC, right? So I'm gonna take this a little bit to the left so you can see how I can drag and drop it here. And now my P trap is part of our project, right? Now, if you right click here and you go to edit family, you'll notice that this trap is by default out of the box, is as a part type, it's a multi-port. But in essence, you know, it, it only has one inlet and one outlet. So you can easily classify this as an elbow. So let's do that. And that will allow us to swap it later on. So elbow. Now we go to load into project. And then we overwrite. And now this guy is an elbow. And what that allows us to do is, that, let's keep in mind the name of it. It's called Trap P PVC. So now we're able to come here to our waste 
PVC pipe type and under type properties, routing preferences, we should be able to add it here. So let's go to the plus sign and let's go down to trap and here it is, trap P. Now it's available for us. Make sure you select here all so that you can use it and let's give it a shot. Now we have our elbow here and here it is, trap P PVC. So we can swap it. By the way, if you keep this checked, it's going to be easier for you to find the proper fitting because if you don't, then it's giving you every fitting that is classified as an elbow. Whereas if you have this box checked, then you are only presented with the ones that you have defined under your pipe type. That's also a bonus tip I'm giving you here. Now let's talk a little bit about the different situations that you can have. In this case, for example, you have a non-slope pipe, right? with a vertical tailpiece. So this might be good maybe for a little lavatory when you have a very short run to a stack or something like that. But uh, if you're doing long runs, you will have to slope this horizontal pipe. For example, a floor drain sloping to a main. So how do we do that? Uh, keep in mind that this, this example that I'm showing you started from the tailpiece and then went this way. So that's, when, that's why when I changed the elbow, from a standard elbow to a P-trap, it had the correct orientation, right? But many times you'll be presented with something like this when you have to be sloping a pipe. Let's have our pipe sloping up an eighth of an inch per foot, right? And then I'm gonna change from 10 feet, let's say to 12 feet, just uh, so that we get our riser, right? And then if you try to, Keep in mind that I have the correct slope here. Now, if I were to change this elbow here for a newly created P-trap, the orientation is not the one I'm looking for. And notice, by the way, that my perfectly vertical pipe has now some kind of slanting here. So you have to be very careful about that. And uh, if you're coming from horizontal to vertical, the quickest way to do things is just to trim from horizontal to vertical, and now you'll be able to swap it without a problem. Now, one thing you also need to keep in mind is that this pipe was perfectly sloped at one eighth of an inch. Now it's not. So this, uh, this would have to be changed to one eighth of an inch if you're really strict about your sloping and it's a long run. But again, if you're just doing like a back-to-back -back lavatory or a small lavatory going to a, to a stack or a sink. I would say 99% of the times that you're doing a, a lavatories or sink, you won't have to slope this. It doesn't really make sense and you just waste a lot of time. But in long runs or in ceiling spaces or if you're doing a, even underground, a coming a, out, of a, out of a drain, for example, make sure that you have your correct slope, okay? So in this case, we end up with our correct slope and with our nice uh, P-trap. Let's jump to our next uh, tip. All right, let's say the aliens calm down and they want to mess around with your YouTube history. What are you going to do? Can not find my video? No. What you want to do is subscribe to the channel. You hit that bell. That way you get notifications. You know where your video is and you stick it to the aliens. Now our next tips about sanitary teas, and we're gonna go all in with this one. So let's go PI, let's start at eight feet, and let's, uh, let's actually slope down an eighth of an inch per foot, right? So this is our slope. Keep in mind that when you're sloping pipe, this symbol here, this, this point represents the hinge. So it would be this point. And then the slope is opening down, going this way. Okay, you can change that if you want. See, in this case, I would be sloping to the left. In this case, I'm sloping to the right. Okay, sloping down to the right. Now, um, if you wanna come out of this pipe, I'm doing C, S for create similar, right? You need to inherit your elevation. And now I wanna slope up 
let's say at 90 degrees like that, right? Uh, one thing to keep in mind as well is that by default I have the sanitary tee because it's a shorter fitting and it's more comfortable for me to change and, and adjust. But if you're doing horizontal runs, this fitting is not allowed. So you, need, you would have to make sure that you change that to a combination Y, something like that, right? But in this case, what I want to show you is just the behavior and the angles of the sanitary tee. Okay, so let's stick to this just for this example, okay? Um, what I want to do is I want to be able to come into this main also at a 45 degree angle, or if I want to come out of here, make sure remember always to inherit your elevation. So the complementary angle would be 135. And see, notice how I came out or came in to my main with a 90 degree angle pipe and also with a 45 degree angle pipe without having to change my pipe type. And if I do that just once, it's not a big deal. But if I have to do this a thousand times a day and it takes me five minutes to do it, that's 5,000 minutes. So um, it's a good tip. Anyway, let's, let's understand how this works. If you go to that fitting and you go and do edit family, you'll see that there is a parameter here that is called angle. And it's uh, somewhere, here it is, angle, see? And right now it's set up as 90 by default. But what I wanna show you is that if I, if I click on this fitting and I click on this fitting, this doesn't change. And this is not changing because it is the same family. It's just that in this case, that uh, that parameter angle is set up very close to 90 degrees. You see it here, angle, almost 90 degrees. But then if I click on this one, you see that that angle value is 45 degrees. See, so it's the same family, just with a different angle. If you're, you know, doing something like that, right? This elbow and this elbow are also the same elbow. So we're being consistent with what we're doing. Uh, the only difference is that this one here has an angle that is very close to 90 degrees. And then this one has an angle that's very close to 45 degrees or 45 degrees. Now, if you wanna take it a step further and you wanna change this fitting with the actual sanitary Y, you can always come here to your library U.S. Imperial, Pipe, Fittings, PVC, Schedule 40, Socket Type, Drain Waste Vent. And I'm gonna bring this to guys, the, um, the Y, 45 degree. And I'm gonna bring also the reducing one if I wanna change, let's say from three main coming out with a two inch branch or something like that. So I'm gonna drop those two Y's. So now that I have them in my project, I'm gonna go into my Y and I wanna drop it here in my pipe, right? Notice that this pipe fitting and this pipe fitting are slightly different. I actually don't care because what, what matters to me is that things fit and I try to be as efficient as possible, but if you really want to swap them, there's a way to swap them and I'm gonna show it to you now. But notice that this fitting is a little bit larger than this one. So it actually goes on the safe side if you're using this one. Anyway, if you wanna switch them, you can. However, you have to be a little smart about it. Why? Because this guy is set up as a T and this guy is not. So. Notice that the name of this is Y 45 degree. If you wanted to change that from here, even if you take this out, you won't be able to find it. So the trick that you have to do here is you have to come here and then do edit family. And then you would have to change this from a Y to a T and then you load into project and then once you update the fitting 
you can see now that if I click here, then that Y, it's available right here. So you can swap it, okay? In a similar way, I'm gonna hit undo here. And then if I change this pipe from a three to a two, you see that I have a reducing fitting, right? So if you wanted to do the same thing that we just did, and you try to select that Y, it will introduce a reducer. So that's why I brought both of my fittings, the standard Y and the reducing Y. So let's change that one too. I'm gonna go all the way down to my fittings to where I find the Y reducing. And then I'm gonna drop it in. And then this guy has if I'm sloping up with a two inch pipe, this is actually a one and a half inch, right? But this you could have also as a two inch and then your fitting will adjust. But again, this guy has to be changed from a Y and to a T and then you load into project. Make sure you're loaded into the right one. I call it P trap just uh, don't get confused. That's the name of my project because that, that was this exercise. So anyway, if you if you're coming out of your pipe this way with a two inch, right? Now this reducing fitting, which was that sanitary T that is pretty flexible because it has 90 degrees and 45 degrees, you can easily change it now to your reducing fitting. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like it down there. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notified. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.